Do you believe in magic? Wait, don't judge me yet. I've got something crazy to tell you today. But first, are you subscribed? If not, hit that button. You don't want to miss this. Now, let me ask you again. Do you believe in magic? It might sound silly in today's world, but think about this. Imagine your great great grandparents seeing a smartphone or a drone. To them, all these inventions wouldn't be pure magic. I mean, from bullet cars to driverless cars, we have really come far, don't you think? And with bullet cars, there wasn't much to explain, but self-driving cars, that's a whole different story. And lucky for you, I'm here to break it down in the easiest way possible. How does a self-driving car or an autonomous car work? Let's begin with the brain of these cars. First things first, how does a self-driving car think? Well, technically it doesn't. At least not like we do. Imagine you're driving a car. You see a red light and you stop. You see a pedestrian crossing, you slow down. Now for a human, all of this is normal. But is it normal for a self-driving car? Obviously not. It needs to think like a human and to do that it uses artificial intelligence to process information and make driving decisions. And here's where things get crazy. Self-driving cars train themselves using something called deep learning, a subset of AI that mimics the way the human brain works. They learn from millions of miles of driving data, recognizing patterns just like we do. Let me break it down stepwise. Step 1 perception the car collects data from cameras radar lidar and other sensors and analyzes the data recognizing pedestrians vehicles road signs and signals step 2 planning the ai plans an efficient path to reach the destination step 3 control the ai gives commands and makes real time decisions such as braking accelerating or changing lanes to follow the efficient path With deep learning, these cars get smarter every day, just like how we get better at driving over time. The more they drive, the smarter they get. Now, how do these cars see the world? A self-driving car doesn't have eyes, but it has something better. An army of sensors. Number 1, cameras. These act like human eyes, detecting objects, road signs, lane markings, pedestrians and traffic signals. Self-driving cars don't just have one camera, they have multiple high-resolution cameras that provide a 360-degree view of their surroundings. Number 2, radar. Ever wonder how these cars detect vehicles even in bad weather? Well, radar measures distance and speed, working flawlessly in fog or rain where cameras might struggle. And number 3, lidar, which is light detection and ranging. This is where things get futuristic. Lida fires millions of laser pulses every second, creating a super detailed 3D map of the environment. It's so precise that it can even detect tiny objects on the road. But here's a hot take. Tesla doesn't use lidar. Yep, Elon Musk believes cameras alone are enough. He even called lidar a crutch and said it's the wrong approach for self-driving cars. Meanwhile, companies like Waymo and others swear by lidar, saying it's essential for safety. Who do you think is right? Comment below and let's debate later. But for now, let's circle back to where we were, which leads us to 3. High definition HD maps. Okay, be honest. Do you trust Google Maps a 100%? We've all been there getting directed into a dead end or a random field, yeah? That's why self-driving cars don't just rely on it. Instead, they use HD maps, which are way smarter. These maps include lane markings, traffic light positions, speed bumps, even the slope of the road. And here's the coolest part: self-driving cars update these maps in real time. If one car detects a new pothole or roadblock, all self-driving cars learn from it instantly. Cool, no? Now the car knows what's around it. but how does it make decisions for example 
If a cyclist suddenly appears, should it break or turn left? This is where path planning algorithms come in. They predict every possible outcome before making a decision. Like a chess player thinks 10 moves ahead, self-driving cars analyze using machine learning models and real-time sensor data and quickly adapt to ever-changing road conditions. Here's something that might interest you. If you've played PUBG or GTA, you know how AI opponents react to your moves, right? Well, self-driving cars use the same concept. They train using reinforcement learning, which means they test different decisions, learn from mistakes, and get better over time. I'm sure all these explanations must have established how super smart these self-driving or autonomous cars are. But there's always going to be one concern, that is the ethical dilemma. Here's where it gets real. Let's say a self-driving car is going 80 km per hour when suddenly a child runs onto the road. Does the car swerve to avoid the child but risk hitting another car? Or break immediately but risk injuring the passengers inside? This is called the ethical dilemma and it's one of the biggest debates in AI right now. There's no easy answer. Programming a car's model compass is one of the toughest challenges engineers face today. What do you think should be the right decision? Drop your thoughts in the comments. That's all for today, guys. We just scratched the surface of how self-driving cars work, and there's so much more to explore. But before I go, here's one last piece of info which might interest you. Did you know there's an open source autonomous driving stack called AutoWare? Well, for budding entrepreneurs, technology leaders, and researchers venturing into the world of autonomous or driverless vehicles, AutoWare is a game changer. It provides a solid head start, allowing innovators to deploy self-driving technology without starting from scratch. This means if you dream of building your own self-driving car or startup, AutoWare can be your launchpad. Cities like San Francisco, Phoenix, and even Shanghai have driverless taxis on the roads today. So let me know in the comments if you would like to trust a self-driving car with your life. That's it for today, guys. If you love AI, robotics, and futuristic tech, don't forget to hit that bell icon or you'll miss all our upcoming updates. And a like button is just waiting for you to tap. Go hit it. This is your host, Hema, signing out. See you in the next video. Until then, keep learning and keep exploring.